My name is Jim Trosel. I'm the uh, superintendent here at Pettigrew State Park. It has the second largest natural lake in North Carolina. So this is uh, 16,600 acres. So it's a very large lake, but it's also a very shallow lake. It's only about nine feet deep at the uh, deepest part. So we have primarily swamp, so it's, uh, it's dominated by uh, the big cypress trees. We also have a lot of sycamore trees. Still a lot of old growth trees in this area. And if you move to the south side of the lake, it changes into that Pocosin scrubby marsh. It, it can be pleasant in the spring and the fall, but uh, yeah, by the time that the mosquitoes and the biting flies start to come out, then it loses some of its charm over there. But uh, for here, it's still a good place to drive over um, for bear sightings and people interested in that. We have a healthy black bear population around here. There's also a lot of deer. Um, occasionally you'll see turkey, but they tend to avoid the people when the crowds show up. Um, of course, it's wild areas, so we have a lot of, a lot of snakes, but uh, we also have a lot of very good fishing out here in the lake. Mm -hmm. We tend to get people from like halfway across the state that'll come here and bass fish. The wetlands are helped act as a filter from any runoff from household use. In this case, you know, agricultural use, uh, but also especially if you're a sportsman. I mean, it's, it's a nursery for a lot of the fish. And this time of the year, fish, if you walk around some of the boardwalks up here, you'll see a lot of the young fish following the boardwalks or back up underneath the, uh, the trees, the cypress trees. So it's actually a nursery for the game fish. Okay. Also, as you can probably hear, it also helps with the healthy population of birds. Okay. Mm -hmm. We do have local groups that will come out from time to time and just help with cleanup. Um, since this lake's unique, we do, there's no water flowing into it. So it's all replenished by groundwater and rainwater. So um, we don't have a problem with so many outside pollutants, but occasionally we do have trash that's left over. And that seems to be our biggest thing. If people help. Yeah, they can come out and help pick up the trash, uh, remove any you know, fishing lines and things like that that may have gotten tangled and left behind. So just little things like that will help us a lot. Okay.